Hello everybody and welcome to another pomade review. So the pomade that we're going to be looking at today is Uncle Nick's pomade. So it's pretty interesting how this pomade came to be and, and where it came from um, as it is actually a specific barbershop brew for a barbershop in, for Uncle Nick's barbershop in Pennsylvania. So. Uh, that's the only place in the world that it's made is in Uncle Nick's Barbershop in Pennsylvania. And the only place that has it for wholesale, uh, that ordered it wholesale and has it for sale uh, is Hedgeland.com. Now, how I got it was I have um, a good buddy of mine that I met online through pomade groups and whatnot uh, that lives in Pennsylvania. Uh, his name's Adam, and then he has some crazy last name that's in like a German or something. It's like, but anyway. Um, uh, he hooked me up with one of these um, as he wants the uh, the brew that comes from that barbershop to get more well known and get a lot more uh, notice and a bit more love. So he got in touch with Tadashi at Hedgeline and then he got a wholesale order to him and now it's available on Hedgeline for anyone to buy. So uh, let's get into the pomade. So it is a light hold and on the inside it is white. Now what was a bit of a disappointment to me um, is that one thing that really kind of I don't like about when pomades do this is when it's a little bit of a short pour and as you can see it's um, only to the uh, the little ring that is on the inside of the pomade tin so a bit of a short pour so kind of a disappointment but um, other than that the pomade is quite nice and let's get into it so the scent, um, <laughs> I tried to ask my buddy Adam um, what the scent is, and he says he doesn't know, and the uh, the guy who makes it is, he said it was a mixture of like 18 different fruity scents. So really, really unique, super fruity, uh, somewhat floral scent. It smells really, really nice. Just very, very fruity, and quite strong, and you can definitely smell it on yourself. So here's how it scoops out. Let me show you. Really, really nice, really greasy. And now this stuff is petroleum based. Um, and actually, let me show you the uh, emulsification is just nothing. Goes away like absolutely nothing. Super, super creamy. Um, and almost almost feels like a cream in the way that it breaks down. But actually how it performs, uh, it performs a lot differently than something like a cream. Uh, it performs um, a lot sturdier. So when using this stuff, it was actually um, surprisingly similar to the um, Tad's Stay Sharp, the new Stay Sharp Super Duper Light. Uh, it was very, very similar to that in the way that it breaks down and just the overall feel in the hair, which was surprising to me because that stuff is all natural and this stuff is not. It's petroleum based. Uh, but still it has a, a lot of those great, great qualities that I really, really liked about Tad's Stay Sharp. Uh, as in, feels like a cream, but holds a lot more firm. So, um, what's what's really interesting is that uh, it's a light hold, super shiny, but what the way that it applies is actually, um, you know, the breakdown was real nice, real creamy, but it somewhat kind of feels uh, just a touch more firm when you're actually putting it in your hair and slicking it back, like right now. Still feels light but almost feels like it, it's very unique because it's the first pomade ever that I've tried that's a firm light. Really, really interesting how, like right off the bat, because with other ones like Odad's Light and Tad Stay Sharp, um, they firm up after like um, maybe 30 minutes of hair or something like that after they've really had a chance to set in. Uh, but this stuff, like it feels firm right off the bat, which I really, really like, but still really nice and light in the hair. and. As you can see, by far one of the shiniest pomades I have ever used. And almost for me, you know, I like shine, they're, they're, you know, I like light pomades, but I do think that there is a th such a thing as too much shine, and this stuff is shiny. Um, yeah, I was in direct sunlight yesterday, and, and when I use shinier pomades, my hair looks darker, so my hair looks black. <laughs> and. Uh, it's just so, so, so shiny. So if you like shine, you would love this stuff. But yeah, forms in the uh, forms pompadour really well. I get really, really nice um, shaping with it. Nice hold. Um, but I did notice this is one of the one of those lighter pomades where uh, because it does feel light in the hair, that it does get um, somewhat poofy. Uh, doesn't keep the sides real tight and slick, but that's to be expected. Perfectly normal 
for a standard light hole pomade. So not like Lockhart's Light, but uh, but still all around really nice stuff, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, is it um, is it a perfect light pomade? Um, no, but. Uh, do I think it definitely has some excellent qualities to it? Yes, very much so. Um, so, with that said, final verdict on Uncle Nick's pomade. So, um, oh, and I was going to say about the size of the pomade, um, it may look a little bit small, but it actually is the same size as the Pomp's Not Dead uh, original container, so three ounces. Um, but anyway, um, final verdict is that, you know, I like it. Uh, it has superb, insane shine, and for the light hold that it offers, it firms up really, really nicely. And I ended up, you know, I hardly ever had to fix my hair throughout the day just because it felt really, really firm in the hair. So like a firm light, which was really unique, and I like that. And even right now, you know, if I, if I were to touch my hair, it feels really sturdy. You know, it could probably last through a bit of wind. Um, so just really, really sturdy, nice, nice light hole pomade. Uh, scent is great, really refreshing, really fruity. So, um, you know, negatives is that, you know, it is a bit of a short pour, which is uh, something I kind of been disappointed about, but the pomade itself is great. And it's a great little brew. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see it get a little more recognition because it's only available at that one barbershop in Pennsylvania and also on Hedge Lion. So, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're into that, if you're into light pomades, I would recommend Uncle Nick's Pomade.